be losers finals. This will be best three out of five. And we're going to be giving off some uh, prizes today. We got some chibi statues that Team Ninja is yeah. providing. They're giving out Team to the crowd right now. And they want to know who is thirsty for it. Yes. Get some Team Ninja gear. There you go. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. They're trying to get it like oh, hyenas. So how do you feel about this matchup right here? So we're going to go Lapido versus e -Man. These two have met up before, um, and those matches were incredibly close. Uh, they did a Rachel Mirror, because uh, both of them obviously known for Rachel as well. It was very close. I think, we're, obviously, I think Lapido's going to be sticking with Genfu. In terms of what e -Man's going to do, I think he's going to probably go with Kokoro, because that seems to be his go-to uh, character whenever he's fighting Genfu, especially against Sweet Revenge. Uh -huh. So. Um, and I don't know how that's going to turn out. I just don't know. But if I if I had to if I had to put a dollar down, my money would go towards Lopito at this point. Yeah, I Lopito's think I'm the hot man right now. Yeah. E Man played a little cold, was a little shaky. Mm -hmm. Switched from character to character. I definitely think that uh, Lopito going into this match is is probably the favorite. Right. I think so too. I I'd have to agree. Um, e Man obviously. A very, very strong player. No slouch at all. Yeah. No, no discredit to him. He's really good. He can very well take it and come back and just beat the Japanese player. Yeah. But this is the way, based on how he's been playing right now, he's just not looking, you know, warmed up. He's just not feeling comfortable. Yeah. Um, not at so all. He's one of my uh, Texas. He's part of the Texas family, and, and, mm -hmm. and I think he's a great player. But right now, Lapido is on a roll. He's definitely on a roll. Yeah. And whoever whoever wins has to go and beat JC Akira twice. True. Which is definitely not going to be easy. Yeah. That's going to be that's going to be tricky. But I like to see it go all the way. I yeah. want to see it. Absolutely. All right, so it seems like we're going to get the show on the road. Um, this is the button check. Look at the crowd in the background as they're giving out an Ayana statue. All right. Yeah, so we're going to have Vanessa get on here. Um, after should. Tom Lee's request, um, she's going to get on here and say a few things right before the Grand Finals. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. As we prep up for the Grand Finals, Vanessa, uh, what uh, someone would like to call her the queen of the away, will be up here. Yep. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely get to hear from her. Uh, and, and, and find out what her experience has been so far of NEC 16. Yeah, you'll be the interviewer. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. All right, so I think they're set. They're going to go ahead and make the character select here. Obviously, Lapido rocking game through the entire tournament. I had to pull out the pocket square, you know? Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Only for the cameras, though. <laughs> Only for the cameras. Even. Going with Kokoro, like you said, you predicted this. Yeah. You said he was probably going to go with Kokoro yep. to, go for, uh, to adjust for Genfu right yeah. now. So, so. Um, let's see if it plays in his favor. Um, I don't believe um, any of these guys have played throughout this entire tournament. No, I don't, I don't think so. But now we got the home stage, so this yep. changes the dynamics right Yeah, bit. this sucks for E-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we're going to see if um, Lopito His can take objective is to get a Lopito off, out of this stage, send them through a window, something. Because he doesn't want to be here for multiple rounds. Wow, here this we go. Gonna, this is what's going to happen. Big, Big damage. damage right here. It's almost guaranteed a 50% combo every time Genfu sends it to the ceiling. Yep. So this is why it caters to Genfu so much. Absolutely. Kokoro has nothing to combat nice or, or, or to challenge that. Good choice from E-Man there. Wow, Good gets up and tries to attack. Yeah. So E-Man takes that round. Yep. That's a close round. Here we go. E yeah. Coming in with a couple of strings. He cancels the string into another string. Yep. And you'll notice with E-Man, he's a guy that likes to play with the stun system. He likes to manipulate it. And sometimes you think to yourself, right. just, just launch it. Right. But, but you also can take it, have to take into consideration that Kokoro is kind of one of those characters. Characters that has to play with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even, even if you were to launch it, it's never really the greatest launch. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to have to establish that he has a strong stun system. Or he's going to have to establish that strong stun system um, quickly before Lopito adapts. Wow, hold. Gets and this is it. Guaranteed. There it is. I, I, 
I must say though, right there, even though he knocked him into the breakable object, he should have just gone for the launch right away. I don't know why he had to repeat the same thing. Yeah, that's, twice. That's, that's what I mean when I say the stun system manipulation. When he's always playing with his food, yeah. yeah. Here we go. What's he gonna do? There, there it is. we go. There he goes. Then. Yeah, her. Oh, her you, what happened? What happened? No, no, no. What happened there? I'll explain to you what happened. He hit, um, he hit Lapito into the wall, a regular wall at first, and then sent him into the breakable object. What that does is it keeps the hit effect to the wall active still. Yep. So he went for the launch thinking he wasn't gonna hit the wall, but yep. he hit him anyway. Yep. Two to two right here. Had he not hit that wall though, he would have been okay. Yep. And Lapito doing some playing with the stun system yeah, himself. Exactly. And he goes finally out, takes him out. It's the end of the match, but yeah, it's a good, it's still, it's a good it's thing good to do. To, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Wow, nice hold. Incredible holds. Lapito gambling out there. Wow. Nice. Nice I attack. Was I was expecting a parry right there, to be honest yeah. with you. But he went for the down back punch. Gets yeah. interrupted. Obviously, he's negative. Negative yeah. five. Absolutely. So he does have to recover. And that's the thing. I, I like his choice with Kokoro. I think he does really well against Genfu when he's using Kokoro. Yeah, yeah. It's working out in his favor right now. It was a close match. But here we go. We're on the rooftop of the street. Go, four punch, punch. Jab, jab. Go for the three punch kick launch. They just hold resistant. Yeah. And Lapito's doing too many holds there. He's gonna pay for it. I see what he's trying wow, to do. Wow, they went through that. each other. Yeah. That Switch and that e rarely takes, happens. Yeah. That rarely happens. And E-Man took advantage of it. Yep. The power was just too strong. They went through each other. They couldn't. They couldn't clash right there. Wow. There you go. Lopito. Lopito's right 30, back in there. 30%. And E-Man, nice. when he's playing with Kokoro, he's playing with such calm and confidence. He's punishing correctly. He's spacing correctly. It's really, really refreshing to see that. E-Man really showing the dominance right here. Lopito needs to readjust, or yeah. else E-Man will continue to run the, the entire match like this. Yeah, because right now it's looking like a 3-0. Yeah. I can tell you right now, E-Man is feeling himself right now. He's, he's got the momentum that he wants right now. Look how many times E-Man held right there. E-Man does normally hold that many times. So he knows that he can take a yep. couple of hits. Nice launch. Oh, he drops wow, the combo. he drops it. That's, that is, that's heartbreaking for him, I'm sure. Of course, and E-Man will take it. Wow, he, he misses Wow, it. wow, there's a, there's a lot of he things He misses happening. a low punish as well, so yeah. they're both drop well, opportunities from yeah. both characters. There's definitely nerves at play here, guys. Nice hold. Gets up with the low get-up kick. Goal comes up with the string, ends high. Nice punishment there. Nice defense. Wow. Reads the low hold. Oh, he didn't follow that up. is bold. That's yeah. bold right there. Nice hold from E-Man. Wow. Very. What? This is back and forth. Wow, he didn't fully charge and he could have punished. He punish it. Back dash. Nice. What's going to happen? Run up and throw? No. Guard break. Should. Yep. No, Barry. What? Oh, he didn't follow up. He could have just finished the stun. Both my eyes. Nerves oh are my definitely goodness. playing. This is definitely nerves. Oh my god. That was nerves. E Man all had day. that round. All he had to do was just finish the string or do a, a yeah. completely different string. But he did nothing. And he let the stun just play out. Yeah. That, that's that's got to hurt him right now. Definitely nerves. Nice hold from E Man. Sends him into the ground. Nice force tag. Hits him with a low. Down back punch from Lapito. Wow. Shoulder hit coming from E Man. Taking e -Man massive damage. right back in there. He says, I deserve that last <laughs> round. You he was very mad about one. that last round. <laughs> so Lapito, trying to figure out what he needs to do. Back He's to the chair. He's got a big smile on his face. You can tell he was like, Yeah, I, I deserve that last <laughs> round, buddy. He's like, Ain't no that shouldn't have happened. Yeah. <laughs> Just because nerves got me in that one doesn't mean you're going to get this next one. Wow. So this has been uh, pretty decisive. And we're back at home. Again, another stage that caters to game food, but he hasn't been able to completely take advantage of it. No. And even when he hits a breakable object, he has really nice sit-down stuns, so he doesn't always have to get the seal. Absolutely. That's bold to yeah. sit there and attack Genfu after that. Wow, we went through each other again. E-Man here making a comeback. Wow, he jumps up. Wow, there. nice hole from Lupito. Finishes the throw, breaks the throw. Break. Lupito's in trouble here. When in doubt, low counter, right? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> when in doubt. Well, well, in that particular case, the follow was going to be high, yeah, I believe. Definitely, so. definitely, definitely. You're fine. There was definitely. And he wow, misses he's the throw, the throw punishment again. I wonder if oh, he's yeah. trying to punish with the slower throw. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm why. thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe he's doing the wrong throw. Yeah. Each character has two down throws, guys. One is slower and stronger than the quick Wow, he misses the sit down stun. Wow, right nice run throw. throw. Yep. And that's how you open people up. Nice solid throw. Throw into the fourth throw. Off to the neck. Safe. 
Down by punch. Oh, wow. he thought he was gonna parry. He yeah. thought it was a bait into the parry. Yeah. Lapido felt it as well. He's like, no, I'm not gonna bait you. I'm actually gonna hit you this time. Yep. Both areas of the ground are broken. And this is not good for E-Man here. It's gonna be guaranteed. Big damage. Wow. Should wow. Throw. He should go underneath. Yep. They're, yeah, they're gonna go down. It would have been over though. It would have been over had there not been. And no throw already. punishment from E-Man there. Ah. Lapido. So, able to beat himself on the board. Three. Two oh. I wonder if we're gonna get the home stage again. And we hey, make it three for three. <laughs> <laughs> it's rare to see the home stage come out that often, to be honest with you. Yeah. So uh, interesting that he was able to get it twice. Nah, we're, we're we're in the desert here. Big open space, nice right. and hot, bright sun. I think the open space will probably carry uh, cater to um, Pokero more than it would to Genfu. Absolutely, Genfu is is kind of limited in his spacing options. They always uh, they refer to him as the T Rex arm. Yep. What happens here? Obviously, Rapido yeah. less than half, 50% health. He gets a nightmare man with the life lead. Wow, goes for a throw. I didn't think he was going for a throw right there. Nice, nice patience from E-Man there. There we go, down four punch, down back punch. Nice it defense. It. He's starting to catch, starting to catch onto it. one peak. Excellent, excellent play from E-Man here. I, I was for some reason I was expecting a parry right there. Didn't yeah. come out. Four four throw, so bound. Wow, could have gone behind him with a four four punch. Would have been oh, a really deep stun. E man, being unsafe gets throw punish right there. Nice, Again, nice. He's he is reading Lopito. Nice. Couldn't get a launcher, but he made sure he maximized damage. Uh oh, triple burst. No, what's for the shoulder hit? Nice, and he's just reading e -Man. that every time. Lopito's giving himself away with those one P's at this point. Oh my goodness, deep stun, what's gonna happen? And that's it, Lopito takes it. Oh, punch, such a good launch. It's yeah. so fast, 14 frames. It's gonna give you, gives you plenty of time to think about what you wanna do. Nice, nice hold. Lopito messing with the stun system. Nice parry. E Man, what's he gonna do? Wow, that was bold. It goes up for the throw, even though he yeah. didn't finish the strength. And Lopito throws him right back. Down for nice hold. Punch gets hold and this is kind of just a brawl at this point. Wow. People are th they're throwing each other and then they're holding each other. There's no launch. Again, he read it again! Perfect. Four kick punch! Wow. Lopito must understand that he's reading that every single time yeah. after his down four punch. He's down four punch, down back punch. He needs to realize that. He's gotta mix it up. E-Man taking full advantage of that. Props to him for that. There it is again. Nice high punch hold. He's held every high that Lopito has thrown out on the screen, pretty much. There's the one there it is again. again. He's holding him. And, and E-Man is living and dying by his holds right now. Yep. Super launch throw, what's gonna happen? Ah, he's gonna pay for reset. that hold. He's going for the reset. He knew he wouldn't be able to kill. I like wow. it. Wow. Nice throw punishment. Nice patience coming from E-Man, showing that he can just hold the block and then punish accordingly. Wow. Nice punch, 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 punch throw. throw. That's classic DOA. DOA. Yeah, DOA to you, <laughs> classic. Punch, punch, throw. And that, wow. my friends, is the mark of an experienced player. Yep. Now my punch, here we go. Oh, he again, throw. he is making use he of it. He says, I don't care that you're gonna throw a punish it. Wow, gets the actual critical burst and, he's, and drops the juggle again. It's he needs a lightweight, to... it's a lightweight thing. And I, he's gotta make the adjustment. Yeah. What's the lightweight going up? E -Man. Little too high. Trying to take advantage of the fact that he lost a huge juggle. Oh, I think E-Man thought he was gonna throw there. This could be it for E-Man. Oh, right. a sliver, sliver of life. life. Four, four punch. He tries to go for down four punch. And this, this could be a critical burst. Oh, wow, what a punch. low hold. Low hold saved his life. He went for the highs. He kept going for the highs. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with throwing a low hold every now and then if you know your opponent is constantly yep. going for highs. And that's happened in the last two matches. A low hold has saved Lopito's tournament life. And as we go into this final match, they're tied 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. And they're on a nice, again, safe stage. No ceiling, but there are plenty of destructible objects around. Even the crowd was like, wow, it's actually going to go yeah. for the last final and match. It looks like... Go. Oh, he didn't get the. Didn't, didn't get, get it. The, He's looking for it. Unsafe, obviously, but it's a good uh, ground game. Again, nice, safe. nice punishment. To the breakable object. Gets 4 4 punch. Launch. Nice launcher. launcher. Wow, look at the damage Big on the damage. Right now. 10, 10 hits. hit combo. It's 60%. Nice. He knew the wall was there. Sent him into it, finished him off, took the round. Smart play from E Man there. Excellent play. Oh, punch. It's a 4 punch punch. Punch his kick. Runs up and blocks. Very smart move, actually. Super wow. Is he going to go for the reset? No, nope, nope, he wants all the damage. I thought he was going to get up. Wow, into nice. bluffs. The 11 frame. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. One to one. Lapido and Electrify here at NEC 16 2000. Battle Royale 2015. Yeah. This is the last match of the loose bracket. Yep. 
This is Luffy's final. Here we go. Nice to force him up. Gets nice up throw from E Man. E Man went for a launch there, got interrupted. Yeah, he did. Nice forward throw. Finishes the combo throw. Forward punch. Down back punch. Down forward punch. Wow. This goes for the knockdown. Wow, the deep stun again. Oh my god, he goes for the throw. Wow. Why would you go for the throw at such a little amount of health? Crazy that was not call. good. That's crazy. That was a bad call. Talk. This could cost him the entire match now. Here we go. But E Man, trying to hold on. Making sure that, hey, it doesn't matter. Keep making mistakes. I'm going to take full advantage of him. Wow, he almost yep. missed out the kick right there. And that's possible. Nice go. Mix up. Okay, E Man, that's 50% health. Blocking everything that's coming out on the stream. He has to. 4 4, four punch, punch. Wow, nice. goes for the critical burst. Big damage. Oh, gets that's hit it. on the way uh, on the back dash. And this could be it. And it is. That is it. Oh, oh my god. He drops the Still shuttle. And he gets hit with that back punch. Wow. <laughs> he falls off his chair. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This has wow. never happened to somebody falling off his chair. It was so powerful. The hit was too good. It was too good. Then he fell and knocked him off his own chair. E-Man's aura was so strong. Wow. He didn't wow. even have to touch him. All right, guys. Um, that was a very exciting match. What we're going to have is a quick speech from Vanessa. Uh, she'll be stepping on for a moment, replacing me. And as, uh, as the grand finals proceed, of course, we'll get Shea Swiftside back on the mic. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I see, I like the beats. You got the beats there. Okay. I know. It's a <laughs> gold one. My headset with my headset, so I'm kind of redundant right, right now. <laughs> so, first of all, of course, everybody that's watching the stream, everybody that's here at the event, you know, they kind of want to know, how do you like the event overall? I'm loving the event. There's a lot of close calls and a lot of underdogs. A lot of people I thought that wouldn't advance are now in the grand finals. A lot of upsets, but it's nail biters, guys. Down to the core. Like, this last one. I thought E-Man was taking it until Lapito just came out and made it so close. Yep, yep, it was good. Um, what's one thing you want to say to maybe some other female players that, you know, are in the community, they're kind of hesitant to come to a tournament. What do you want to tell them? And, you know, obviously being a top DOA player yourself, uh, being in the community for a very long time. Right. What is it you want to let them know? That way they feel like, hey, man, it's, it's, not, it's not just for guys all the time. I mean, right. obviously, I mean, girls can come out here, show their air game. I mean, you came out one time, you showed that you could dominate. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're not letting me. Well... It's scary at first, I'd say to all the other females, because you don't know what you're getting into. You're kind of, you don't know anybody. Especially for me, I always came on my own. I always came by myself, so I was always intimidated, and I felt the pressure to be like, oh my god, I, I have to do well, this is my first time. And it just, it's a lot of fun once you're actually here. You get yeah. to experience it, you're playing a game you love, and you get to test your skills, because I never knew right. how, well, how good I was at this game until I started traveling and actually competing. And then I'm like, oh crap, I guess I'm doing pretty well, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. But exactly, it's like, you just gotta go out there to find out, right? Yes, yes, yes. you just have to. So definitely shouts out for Team Ninja to be able to put this whole event together here at NEC 16, right. at the Battle Royale circuit. Obviously, there's another Battle Royale for next year. Uh, plenty of tournaments coming up, and they're going to be hosting it. Hopefully, we get to see you there as well, and uh, several other several other female players uh, representing, showing the skills. There has been quite an influx of us. So yeah, there you go. You probably see the whole like little Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift squad of girls just coming in with their little. Trying to dominate the scene, huh?